But Jesus kind of, kind of leans back, avoids the blow, and comes back at him with saying that he will not test the Lord in his God. Finally, Satan winds up and tries to deliver a knockout punch. But again, Jesus avoids it by telling him that he will not bow down and worship him. He avoids it, he dips away, and blows his devastating uppercut to tell Satan that he will serve only the Lord his God. Now, I never would have thought that doing so many Kempo P90X workouts would come into play in a sermon, <laughs> but you never know. The point is that through this epic battle, Jesus came out on top. Jesus defeated Satan. This was only one account we see of Jesus being tempted by Satan. I'm sure that Satan was using everything he could throughout Jesus' whole life to get him to fall away. But through it all, Jesus never slipped up. Jesus never gave in to any temptation. He was perfectly obedient his whole life. Now it's truly amazing that Jesus could live a perfect life. But it's even more amazing that Jesus takes his perfect obedience and gives it to you. He exchanges it for your sinfulness. That's the kind of God that we have. Thus he, he justifies the whole world. He takes away the sins of all people. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from or how many bad things you've done. The only thing that ever matters is what Jesus has already done for you. Just as sin and death entered the world through the one man, righteousness, redemption, and eternal life entered through another. Just as the one man's sin which led to death was out of our control, so is the one man's righteousness which led to our deliverance. Now it's not too often in the world that we live that, that things are entirely beyond our control. We usually have a good grasp on most aspects of life. For example, we, we can choose what kind of food that we want to eat. We can choose what clothes that we're going to wear. We can choose what TV shows we watch and, and what friends that we have. But sometimes there are things that are completely out of our control. For example, we, we can't control what the weather does, whether we'd like to or not. That's simply beyond our grasp. We can't control when the sun rises and sets, although there's days like today where we kind of fudge with the system and do it anyway. But you catch my drift. We also can't control that we are born with an inherited sin. But the most important thing that's beyond our grasp is that Jesus loves us. We cannot control that Jesus loves us so much that he laid down his life for us. And we can't control that through the obedience of the one man, through Jesus Christ, the many will be made righteous. Amen. Please stand. May the peace of God which transcends all understanding guard your hearts and lives in Christ Jesus.